Nan Hayworth, defines what America is looking for, and that's leadership. I love Nan Hayworth. I I'm a very big supporter of her. She's a doer. She's very smart. She's intelligent. And she's leading the light, and she's a rising star. She stands up to make a difference every day. I believe she's a hard-working individual. She's connected to the community. We're very proud to have Nan as our congresswoman. Ladies and gentlemen, our next congresswoman, a phenomenal lady, Nan Hayworth. It is wonderful to have you all here. The sun is on us. The wind is with us. It's wonderful to be with so many friends. I'm thinking right now of last November. I hosted and our team made a great jobs fair. Here in our Hudson Valley, we've had two of them. More than a thousand people came to our first one. Men and women and people in their 20s, people in their 40s and 50s and even in their 60s. It was painfully clear to me that day. It was clear in those faces that our nation is paying for a bad economy in a price that has to be measured in more than dollars. We're losing the very essence of what it means to be American. We can do better. We have to do better. I'm here to make sure we do better for all of you. We need to responsibly provide for our defense, support our troops and our veterans. I visited seniors throughout our district and they tell me they're worried about Social Security and Medicare. And they have good reason to worry. Because what they contributed over the years to Social Security and Medicare is now running out fast. So I'm pledging to our seniors yet again, here today, as I do whenever I talk with them, that I will do all I can to make sure that the benefits they rely on will be there for them. And I practiced for 16 years here in the Hudson Valley. It was a great privilege. And I use that experience and that knowledge from my practice to create plans. We do, we are thinking all the time about our health care and our health insurance, how we can do it better, far better, and build on what's best about American medicine. We have to preserve the relationship between our doctors and our patients. We have to honor the choice and competition that improve the quality of care for everyone. And we have to foster the innovation that saves and prolongs healthy lives. We can't afford, and we don't need, and we have to get rid of a massive federal takeover of health care to do that. I know, and you, that what we really need is for the federal government to get out of the way. Get out of the way of our hard work people in business, small and large, get out of your way, let your dollars stay in your pocket so that you can spend and invest and save and grow our economy and create jobs right here at home. We need to lower your cost of living and make energy more affordable. We need to put the power to make decisions about your health care back into your hands and we need to assure our seniors that the Medicare funds that they rely on will be there for them. all the challenges that face our Hudson Valley and our magnificent and extraordinary and irreplaceable United States. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you have done, for all that you will do. I want to thank you for the opportunity you've given me to serve and continue serving. So let's go out there and win a great victory together in November. <laughs>